Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of Gundam Build Fighters Try Episode 3. First off here. Dear God. Did you know that Mr. Rawl is 35 years old? Seven years after the first season. That would made him, what, 28 in the first season? Bullshit. I, I'm not buying it. Uh-uh. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not buying it at all, because his, like, uh, gun, gun plus... I forget what the wor word before it was, but the, it was, there was a number after, after it was 35, because apparently he's 35 years old. Nah. I'm not buying that for one bit. <clears throat> but... <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. But anyways... Other than that, this was once again a fantastic episode of Gundam Build Fighters Try. Seriously, so much happened, okay? First off, it's confirmed that there is now three members in Team Tri Fighters, which is what they're calling their team, okay? Uh, there's the main, the main male character, the main female character, and also Kosaka. All three of them are now a member of Team Tri Fighters, okay? And we do have this little bit of a touching scene, I guess you could say, with Kosaka. Uh, basically apologizing to the main uh, to our main female character about giving up on their pro or about abandoning their promise and abandoning the gun <clears throat> yeah, gun club battle club, but she basically shoves it all away and forget and forgives him, saying that she's just really happy that she's able to battle with him once again, which I thought was a really touching scene. There's lots of really cheesy moments in the series, but I honestly think that's what makes it so great. Okay, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I honestly think the cheesy scenes in the series is what makes it so great. Okay. We had two major battles in this episode. The first one was a training battle where the three members of T Team Tri Fighters were basically training against each other. And I really love, uh, in both of the battles actually, I really love our main male characters, uh, Sekai, I believe his name is. I really love Sekai's. The way he fights, because in the training battle, it's proven that he's useless with guns, okay? Like, he can't aim worth shit, but he has his martial arts, of course, and he's able to apply that to his gun gun. Granted, that does piss off Kosaka quite a bit, because because that gun gun apparently was used by Sayori. I did not even recognize it, though, <clears throat> um, when it was first introduced in the series as that. Um, I don't know, maybe I should go back and check out some of the episodes of the original series or, or the first season and see if it actually is or not but apparently it was used by Sayori in the first season and so he Kosaka basically thinks that it's insulting the Gundam and Sayori himself to use it but or to use it like that but either way I really like it though because he literally takes his fist and just punches straight through the enemy of fucking Gundam okay it's <clears throat> It's really good, and there's also a scene in the second fight where he literally spins around to form a giant fucking tornado using his martial arts, okay? I really love Sekai's strategy and the way he fights, and I think it's going to be really interesting because <clears throat> I don't think it's something that we've seen in Gundam ever before, or even in Gundam Build Fighters. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see how he faces up against some of the stronger opponents in the series using that. <clears throat> okay, but anyways, in this the main event of this episode, which was what caused the second battle, is that we have this other school. I forget what the school's called. Okay, but the school that Team Tri Fighters goes to basically arrange this basically like battle. Okay, and it's basically an all girls gun plus school, but it's not to be underestimated because of that because these are some like some of the top gun plus fighters I'm guessing in the country okay and a team of three comes to match their team of three and there's this and they're headed by this chick I forget what her name is but I forget what her older brother's name is too I forget a lot of names I know but she's basically the younger sister of this like real douchebag that was in the first season okay thankfully though she does seem to be a lot more humbler than him because she does end up basically mellowing out I think quite a bit by the end of it that could be basically just be because maybe she fell, fell in love with Sekai which is most likely but 
either way, though, <clears throat> she does melt, seem to mellow out quite a bit at the end. But she's kind of a bitch in the beginning. But <clears throat> I think the reason why she fell for Sekai is because Sekai, at, at, before destroying her kid Gunpla, she realized he realized that she truly does love Gunpla. And so he actually spared her Gunpla and saved her. And and right before he did, she asked what his name was. <clears throat> so I think that's kind of what... <clears throat> God damn it. So I think that's kind of what inspired her to kind of have, have a crush on him in a way. And kind of mellow out at the end of the fight. Now the fighting in this episode is so fucking good. Like, as much as I love Gundam Recongeista in G of this season, I honestly think the fights, at least so far, are way better in this, excuse me, in this series, right? Gundam Build Fighters Try. Granted, that could change later on in Recongeista. We'll just have to wait and see. But as of the time being, and that's saying something because Recongeista actually has four episodes out so far because two there was two episodes released the first week, basically. But the first day, the first day, in fact. But anyways, though. So the fighting is so good, and the animation in the fights, as always, is amazing. Okay, seriously, it is. Now, other than that. There was a lot of comedic moments in this episode. I already mentioned the whole Mr. Roll 35 thing bullshit. Uh, but there was also this scene where a Sekai was basically... Or Sekai's a older sister was modeling for like this Gunpla magazine or something. Where she said, basically said that she's not really a fan of Gunpla herself. But her, but her little brother is, so she was modeling in this like Gunpla magazine and that was a pretty funny scene. There was also this scene where uh, Kosaka came to pick up uh, Sekai from his house and he saw he saw his sister. I'm not, I'm not sure if Kosaka saw Sekai's sister before but when he lays his eyes on his sister this time he his brain goes into immediate fucking crush mode. I'm not even kidding you. And this is where we get to see kind of the traits of his older sister come out a little bit. By the way, I just thought of this. Did was there ever it ever stated in season one that she actually had a little brother? I don't remember. Either way, so yeah, it's, some personality traits of Chena definitely come out in this scene, which is kind of nice because they are blood siblings, obviously. So it would make sense that they would have some some of the who are into gunplay. So it would make sense that they would have some of these traits. You know what I mean? So that was another really funny scene. And also the scene where she was like smile, where that one chick was smiling at the end of the battle, okay? And kind of falling fall head over heels for Sekai. That was kind of a touching scene, but a funny scene at the same time. If you actually see her face, it's like, wow. <laughs> it's really funny, it really is. So there's lots of comedy in here as well. And it's really good, Let's, so there's lots of action, lots of comedy, lots of drama. All around, it just makes a for a fantastic episode. Seriously. Now, like always, I can't really comment on any of the Gundams that might be references or straight out carbon copies of Gundams in previous Gundam series because I haven't watched any others all the way through except for Gundam Bill Fighters Try. So that being said, I can't really comment on that like a lot of like really big Gundam fans would be able to. But if you are a really big Gundam fan, then I definitely recommend you check out this episode, even if you're not. This series is really good. Like, again, I'm not a Gundam fan. Moderately speaking. Like, I don't have, I, I'm sure I'd love it, but I don't, never watch any other all the way through. But I'm still really loving this. I love the first season, and so far I'm really loving the second season. One thing I do want to say, I don't know if I, I'm not sure if I've said this before or not, but... I really want to see Sayori, Reiji, and Chena in this series. Fuck, we've already, we've, we already have Mr. Rawl. I mean, granted, I'm not complaining. He's a really funny character, but still. I want to see the three mains in this fucking season, okay? Mm, not sure where they're at. I think they're still ar around, like, battling somewhere. I'm not sure where it said they're at. Well, Reiji is in that one other world. Which was never explained, by the way. But still, I want to see him come back. Because uh, he was my favorite character in season one. I want to see Reiji come back and Chena as well. Okay? Seriously, I really do. So anyways, tell me your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. 
I really enjoyed this episode. If you have yet to see it, go check it out, okay? So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.